given that they don't have a strong coding background, I suggested using ChatGPT. I said, um, ask ChatGPT to help you with your code. Uh, don't worry about it. I did notice, however, that if you don't have a solid background, you might not get the best results out of it, right? Um, I use it a lot, but I think I know how to ask it questions in a specific way where I get exactly what I need. And I also know that I cannot ask it to do the whole work, whereas I will just ask it to do something small. And I think that's something that they might have. I'm not sure if they learned it, I hope they did, because they have to ask it in a very modular way. And I, I, I hope they have learned that so far. ChatGPT definitely. It's something that I think makes the coding a lot faster. Um, there are three of us on the team. We all had very, very limited Python experience. Um, my computer doesn't even run some of the models that we're trying to use. I'm working on a VCM. Um, so I have my MacBook with like a Windows display. It's very odd. Um, but ChatGPT has been hugely helpful in learning packages, debugging code. It'll explain it to you line by line. I mean, it, it's pretty fascinating. At least ChatGPT4 is. ChatGPT3.5, Chat not super helpful. But um, yeah, that's definitely a part of our everyday workflow. The, the fact that we can get ChatGPT to come up with a write-up pretty quickly um, and you know incorporate something into very simple language that is easily under, understandable to someone else, that's where ChatGPT strengths uh, kind of come into play. PhD Canada who oversees us actually encourages us to use artificial intelligence because it makes like um, work much faster, more efficiently and because like the majority of our groups are not very familiar with coding, it like removes a lot of the errors. Obviously there's still stuff we can fix with like debugging and whatnot, but like instead of just like coming up with code by ourselves, uh, it simplifies the process and I think, uh, you know, it's been a very helpful tool. I think ChatGPT is really helpful for me to get an idea of where I'm going because when I was doing my background literature review to kind of read up on multiple sclerosis and the existing literature on social determinants of health and climate exposures, a lot of the key vocab and like terms that you would really want to look at databases with is not very like self-explanatory, it's very medical jargon. And so like just looking at ChatGPT to be like what terms are available, like how do people actually reference this within the within medicine and within research has been really helpful to kind of point me in the right direction. I don't think we plan to use like ChatGPT or like AI specifically, like exactly in the same way, but we do plan to use a machine learning model. So we do plan to um, train the model um, using part of the data and then use another part of the data to test the model and see if it really works. A lot of it is like Googling it at first, and if Google doesn't come up with a very good answer, then maybe going to chat GPT and asking for resources, and then if it still doesn't know, then like specifically for the code, I think maybe I just start with straight up asking it to code. But if it's something conceptual like which, uh, I know like I asked it which pose detection like GitHub page would be the best, and it didn't return a very good answer. And so then at that point, it was just like having to run through and like manually do everything. But um, I think, yeah, it's very useful for like, trying like to find the most efficient answer and then if it doesn't return something great um, then having to go in and do everything but I mean we said like we don't know how we functioned two years ago without it so I don't know if it's relying on it too much or just using resources well um, but I know like chat GPT was down yesterday morning and my partner and I were like uh oh like we don't know what to do um, but it's very useful for like the coding like like I said, I'm familiar with Python, but maybe not so much to the packages that we're using. And so um, asking it to do specific things that I want and then going in and like trying to understand it myself. But um, yeah, it's really useful for writing code and then maybe not as useful for like conceptual ideas. In my opinion, if you are sort of at a mid-level understanding of coding, it might speed up to where you get better. From my point of view, it, we're not at a point where it can just generate software packages from scratch out of nowhere. Maybe in the future, who knows?